me in my tone You can't step to my throne They ain't working like me I did this on my own You asking where we been, huh? I don't know where to begin Low key, y'all, y'all, anyone that's picked up like a camera in public know this. Like, for picking up the camera, there's so many, you get so many weird things. Like, when you walk into like a gym or anywhere, when you walk into the camera, people think like they gotta be on their best behavior. They look at you weird as hell. Like, y'all can't see it right now. I'm mocking eye contact. He's literally staring me down. And it's totally because Ryan's standing in front of me, holding a camera while I talk into it, and watch on a fucking banana. <laughs> this banana is quality, by the way. This shit is gas. What's up, everybody? Uh, this week's gonna be a little different style video. We're gonna be talking, giving you information instead of doing a challenge. As weird as it may seem, me and Ryan actually know a little bit of what we're talking about. We know some information. But today, we're going to talk about progressive overload. Basically, that is what me and Ryan use to gain strength, build muscle, lift more weight. It's a means of strength training, really. And basically what it is, is when you're packing on either reps or weight every single week. So, to do this, you're going to need to track something. Whether it, you got to track your workouts, whether it be in your iPhone, you can use your notes, there's plenty of apps to do it in. We use this app called the Strong App, not a plug, it's a great app. Um, or you could use a journal. You can bring a journal and write in it. And just make sure you track what you're doing so that you know next week you're not going to do the exact same amount of weight that you did the week prior. So if you keep coming in the gym, say, like this machine right here, I got it on 130 pounds right now. Say I did this 10 times, or whatever it be, and I didn't track it. Next week I come in and I put it on. 115 because that's all I can do that day and that's what I think I did last week but maybe I forgot I thought I did 110 so then we start doing 115 10 reps or whatever it is. you're not going to get any better because you're going down in weight you got to up the weight every week or reps so basically that's what progressive overload is so if I come in and I got it on 115 today I'm going to do 115 10 reps 3 sets mark that down on my phone then next week I come back I look at my phone, I see that, okay, I did 115 for three sets of 10 last week. So this week, I'm gonna put this down, go up five pounds, do 10 more again. And now, you wanna do that until you can hit a certain rep count. So basically, what that means is, since you're going up every week, you're not, your body's not just gonna be able to go 115 for three sets of 10, to 120 for three sets of 10, to 125 for three sets of 10, and so on until you, you run out of weight on the machine, like that's just not. Diet comes into this, the adequate amount of food comes into this, a bunch of other things. But we're just talking solely about the gym and progressive overload right now. So you want to do this until you can hit that weight for three sets of ten. So 115, hit it for three sets of ten. 120, hit it for three sets of ten. We're at 125 now. This is week three for three sets of ten. Well, I went and I only got eight. Okay, so I got three sets of eight. So that means I'm gonna stay at that weight until I get three sets of 10. Once I get three sets of 10, I go up. Now, sometimes it's gonna be, you're gonna plateau out. It's gonna be really hard. Like, you are not gonna catch me doing, what's that? 305 pounds for a three by 10. Like, that's not, no chance that happens. So when you hit that plateau, sometimes what you wanna do is, we hit, we've been going, we've been going, we're a couple months in now, and we got up to 160 on the machine. Okay, well, if I can't hit 160 for 3 by 10, maybe we got to switch up the sets and reps as opposed to the weight. So, come in, stay at that 160, what we're going to do, uh, um, say, a 4 by 5 or a 5 by 5 or something like that. You want to get at least, like, 20 reps in at least. So then, let's have your weight. One, two, maybe 
I can only do five, but we keep going up in weight, and then so you keep going. And then eventually, what you're gonna realize is that if you go down, say you stay on progressive overload for months, what you're gonna realize is when you started with that 115 for 10, you won't be able to come back and throw that stuff for like 20, 25 reps. Easy. Like, this is what I did to my bench. And I plateaued out at 225. And I was, a couple years ago, I plateaued out at 225. And I did uh, progressive overload on everything for like three months. And in the first month, my bench went up 30 pounds. So, like, stuff works. Now, you gotta eat right. When you're doing progressive overload, you gotta eat. You can't just eat in a deficit all day long and expect to build muscle. But, like, the main point is you can do your own research. every single week. Make sure you're not coming in guessing at the gym. Because when you guess, that's when you fail. So, that's my little spiel for the day. We're gonna get into a workout. Peace and love, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the promised land. All right, bag has been secured. My friend Cam put me on this one. We, we've ditched the electric blueberry lemonade, whatever smoothie that, I don't even know if they make that anymore, but we dipped that one. The Orange Dream Machine with a scoop of whey protein is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And the best part, is, so I work in the same shopping center as the Jamba Juice, and I'm supposed to get like 20% off. They have an employee discount for 20 and a team member. Apparently, if you work at Jamba Juice, you get 50% off team member discount. We're going to check out. This lady gave me the fucking team member discount. So, <laughs> me and Ryan effectively just stole two smoothies. It, it, we got two smoothies for like three dollars and it's just supposed to be like ten. So, they've been made. Just crack. Yeah, get scammed, buddy.